Since Moscow, we've travelled over a thousand miles, visiting two new host cities, St. Petersburg and Nizhny Novgorod. There, we visited the sites, soaked up the atmosphere, and went to our first couple of games, Brazil vs Costa Rica and England vs Panama. After a 10 hour sleeper train from Moscow, we arrived in St. Petersburg, just in time for the first game of the second round of fixtures, Russia vs Egypt. We watched the game in the fan zone, located right in the centre of town, beneath the city's magnificent cathedral, and just five miles away from where the game was taking place. Little was expected from the host coming into this tournament, but so far they've been one of the standout teams. The climate in St. Petersburg was very different to Moscow, which came as no surprise, seeing as it's over 400 miles north of the capital. What's happened, Gav? Dressed like this for no reason. <laughs> and it's <laughs> rain. And I look like the biggest <laughs> in St. Petersburg. <laughs> On the day of the Brazil Costa Rica game, we were lucky enough to stumble across two tickets bought outside the stadium at face value with just under one hour before kickoff. The 65,000 seater stadium itself was fantastic. With plenty at stake for both teams, the buzz inside and outside the stadium was incredible. The stadium was packed full of Brazilian fans, Costa Rican fans, and of course, Russian locals and tourists. Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. Neymar. We've currently got two people on FaceTime to each other. One here, and one here as well. While well, the game's going on. Throughout the game, Neymar was getting consistently fouled and was clearly getting irritated. Despite the stadium costing $1.1 billion to build, the half-time refreshments did not live up to expectation. So half-time in the Brazil game. Seven quid. Seven quid for that. Looks great. Thoughts? Based on nothing. Nothing. Great. Costa Rica had a good spell at the start of the second half, but Brazil came through in the end, winning 2 0 with goals from Continuo and Neymar in added time. After all the excitement from Group E, it was an eight hour train journey south to Nizhny Novgorod to see England play Panama. Here we are in Nizhny Novgorod, we've just arrived after an eight hour train from St. Petersburg and it's a lot hotter here yeah, than it was than in St. Petersburg. It's about 20 degrees now at one in the morning and it looks a lot more Russian than what? the European cities have been in so far. So yeah. we'll see. England game tomorrow at three o'clock. Looking forward to it. On our way to the England game. Directions from producer Scott, you sure this is the right way, Scott? Yeah, that man, things in the wrong way. Looks like it's the right way. <laughs> so here we are in Nizhny Novgorod, it's absolutely roasting about 32 degrees. We've got the fan fence behind us here and their most famous landmark, the Kremlin, over this side. We've got about three hours till kickoff and it's heaving thousands of England's fans. Not too many Panamese people here, but I'm sure they'll all be at the stadium. Uh, Nizhny itself is based on the River Volga, which is the biggest river in Europe, and it won't have experienced too many foreign fans here before because it was a closed city until the fall of the Soviet Union in 1990. Lottery, remember those still left at home, Scotland, Wales, and me. We're here outside the Nizhny Novgorod Stadium where England take on Panama in just under half an hour's time. A win for England would guarantee them qualification for round of 16, whereas World Cup team can. Sus just leaving the game now. Full time 6 1. Hurricane scored a hat trick despite only touching the ball three times. Two penalties and one deflection. Thank you. Thank you. Thrown across the European market square. Despite England winning 6 1, everybody still seems to be having a good time. That concludes everything for round two. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you stay tuned for round three where we go on our great Russian train adventure. Yes, we've got an eight hour train journey to Saransk where we're going to watch Portugal play Iran before getting a 20 hour train to Volgograd where we're going to watch Poland against Japan. Japan. Thank you very much. See you next time.